Hi YouTube and welcome to Car and Mechanical. Today I'm going to take you through how to install an armrest into your car. I'm installing mine into my 1993 Audi A3. First thing I'm going to do is make some markings within the centre console. I want to find out where the armrest is going to go um, and what I need to cut because the plastic on the side of it is far too big. At the end of it I want the armrest not to be hanging over like there but sitting on top and then the side panels will bolt onto it. So I've used some masking tape to mask out where it will fit to. I've also um, made some pencil marks on the armrest plastic just to find out where I'm going to cut. Use the cardboard template and you can just see that there. I'm going to use a Dremel type power tool with a cutting disc and I'm just going to try and do this in one smooth movement. It ends up that I have to do this two or three times, however, uh, as soon as I did this left handed to get the camera angle, I'm quite happy that I got the line I wanted. If you turn the speed up to maximum, you're probably going to get the best result. However, it will start to melt the plastic. Don't worry about it too much because all you need to do is sand it off. It's going to be hidden by the side panels anyway. You just want it smooth so it sits on the console okay. And again, exactly the same for the other side. This wasn't too bad, it only you know, took a couple of minutes. So with the fitting, just want to see that that's all on there exactly right. There's a little bit of a gap, but that's fine. It sits on top. That's what I'm after. Now for the side panels that hold the armrest on. I'm going to drill, I think it was about three holes in here. I one of them by the seat. Using a airline drill. And just going to put these in first. Now, with that, I've attached these side panels onto the armrest and I'm putting it on. I'm hand screwing in some self tapping screws. And the first couple, you're fairly easy. They don't feel the most solid in the world. Um, if I'd have just left this installed with just the screws, I'm not sure I would have got the uh, long term finish and I think it would have probably popped out. So I will go and drill the other side and screw the other side in in a moment. However, it's also also take the decision that I'm going to pop rivet some extra rivets or rivets into the armrest to give it a more uh, solid install. So just whilst I do this, just going to talk about how I set this up as well. So the armrest has been set up um, for my driving position. It's been set up for my height as well. So I did quite a few test fits of getting that height right when I was doing that template. So I know that once it is installed, it is going to fit just right for myself. It might differ for everyone else a little bit, but the other things I've considered is keeping that rear ashtray free. Um, doesn't seem great to cover it up. Not a smoker, and I don't have smokers in the car, but I might do something like putting a USB port in there at some point. Also, I wanted to keep the handbrake free because you really, really don't want to be blocking that if you want to service it or anything. Also, just for general cleaning, getting in there. So here I'm drilling the holes for the pop rivets. I'm making these spaced apart across the plastic so you don't stress it at any one point by putting them all in next to each other. And with the pop rivet in, I've done a test one here already. Uh, camera's not as focused as well as it should be. I'll sort that in a moment. But with the pop rivet in, it's a handy little tool. As you're doing it, I think it's normally about three to four squeezes on the handle. And as the last one goes on, the gun tends to drop down. So it will take you a little bit by surprise. I think that's probably the only good one I got. The rest of them, it sort of lurches forward. But as the pop rivets go in, the uh, sides get a much more solid mount. And at the end of it, I'd say that the armrest is more solidly mounted than the actual centre console itself. When I shook the armrest around, the centre console moves, but the armrest itself doesn't flex away from the centre console as such. The console moves more than the armrest. Okay, and the last side. Now, with the armrest, it does look quite a bit different to um, everything that's stock, but where the seats are normally positioned, you don't see most of this stuff. It's actually quite well hidden. And I took the decision to use an aftermarket armrest because of it. it is a cheap older second hand car 
from Audi, you're probably looking at a good couple of hundred pounds for the armrest. Second hand, you're looking between 50 and 100 pounds on eBay. This brand new lever armrest was 20 pound delivered. So I'm very quite happy with the end result. And again, you see I said about the pop rivet gun, you just slip forward with it. But you get the nice result as you put those in. So very last final rivet, and I'll show you the armrest once it's in in a moment. Okay. So they, it's quite obvious that it's the aftermarket piece. However, if we come to the other side of the seat down, it's not so obvious. You can adjust the armrest to come forward a bit if you want. The whole armrest does swing out of the way and you've got a little cubby section inside. Uh, personally, I'll probably be fitting a cigarette lighter charger in there uh, from the phone and maybe an aux in. And I've left the high rate fully accessible there, as you can see, and the little tray next to it. So, nice and solid. That is all now in. I've been using it for a good couple of weeks. It's probably my favourite modification I've made to the car. It's so much more comfortable to use on the motorway. If you do have any comments or questions about the video, please leave them in the comments section below. Uh, please like and subscribe, as I will be doing more videos like this. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.